So I'm going to go back to Peter Alexander. Peter, we're hearing from Stormy Daniels, uh, the actress who uh, received this hush money payment. Yeah, that's right. I want to read for you what we're hearing from Stormy Daniels, and then I want to provide for you a statement from the Democratic National Committee as well, those who will be helping lead President Biden's reelection campaign, which he hasn't formally announced, but the expectation is he would announce soon. First, from Stormy Daniels, here's a statement from her attorney who says, there is no joy in seeing this man indicted. It is a sad day, but I have to place a great deal of respect and confidence in the hard work of the grand jurors and hope going forward our justice system will apply the law to truth and fact and recognize that no man is above the law. Those are the words of the attorney for Stormy Daniels, who really is at the center of this hush money payment that is now behind the indictment by the New York grand jury of the former president, Donald Trump. Separately to the political backdrop to all of this, as we told you, there is no comment here from the White House as they've tried to steer clear of this, not to appear in any way like they are tipping the scales in this investigation, certainly not to appear like anything they would say would be misconstrued as an effort to try to push the attorney general Merrick Garland to prosecute uh, the former president, Donald Trump, as a function, as a result of the separate federal investigation by the special counsel. But the Democratic National Committee is weighing in. And in a new statement that they've provided to NBC News, they say the following. No matter what happens in Trump's upcoming legal proceedings, it's obvious the Republican Party remains firmly in the hold of Donald Trump and MAGA Republicans. The statement goes on to read, we will continue to hold Trump and all Republican candidates accountable for the extreme MAGA agenda that includes banning abortion, cutting Social Security and Medicare, and undermining free and fair elections. Lester, what's notable in all the statements we're seeing, we are seeing from those on all sides of this is an effort really to try to cast this in the framing of 2024, with the real expectation being that President Biden in a re-election campaign could very likely be in a rematch against the former president, Donald Trump. Obviously, this indictment has the potential to change a lot of things, but a lot of them trying to frame this. The Democrats, as we're not focused on the indictment, we're focused on the Republicans' extreme policies as they describe them, Donald Trump and his allies and aides describing this as in effect, another effort to try to push out a political opponent here. Now we'll just watch the proceedings as they play out. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.